And hello everyone. Pardon the squeaky chair. Today has been a rather nostalgic day for me. The housekeeping. My state English bulldog with some smoker's pride vanilla cavendish. I was up this morning. Mind you, I've been involved in many projects. I finished the 48-page poem that I uh, wrote for the University of Akron in their poetry competition. Uh, I submitted a, another project. Um, we'll get into that later. And I have a few ideas up my sleeve, but uh, I'd like to share this one with you. You're listening to Beethoven's Emperor, I think, uh, Concerto. And while listening to this song, which is very uh, personal element or uh, aspect. myself, is while smoking this pipe, with this pipe tobacco, and listening to this song that I managed last year, to write this. It is a manuscript to a novel, part one, part two. That I titled The Enigma of Our Era. Yes, you could possibly decapitate someone with that or impale them if you struck them upon the head with it. But, um. I wrote it for a friend who went off to college. And I reread it today. I forgot how good it was. It's a uh, coming of age story, I guess one could consider it. And I think it's the next one for possible publication. So, at least that's the idea for right now. <laughs> yes, busy, 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 busy. Um, funeral. Uh, the funeral business has picked up. Um, as I said, I had my projects that I was doing. Uh, rearranged my room. Um, so this is probably maybe the second or third time that I've been able to sit down and smoke my pipe. The other time was when I went over uh, and had tea at my grandmother's, and I was smoking my Peterson and Old Dublin, which... I expected more of an aromatic out of Old Dublin, but I'll finish the tin and opt out for an aromatic. But I remember getting back to the original point that I was making. Uh, 
smoking this pipe. I must have started around May, May or June. Started writing this this book. Pipe after pipe after pipe. Clearer until four o'clock in the morning when I've just exhausted myself and going through scotch and gin and ginger ale it's uh and I went clear up to the autumn I was writing this just it brings back so many good memories and so many uh I don't know, just a sense of warmth it makes me feel good. It's and I, I, I remember trying to get inspiration, so I would watch Mona Lisa Smile, Dead Poet Society, or uh Capote, um, even hmm, just lost the title of that film now. Many happy days, though. It takes the same structure as my first book, the Storyteller. Poems and stories and whatnot, but it takes place in college. So naturally, I thought it fitting that they should be in the literature class. Personally, I think my story is a little bit more realistic and a little bit. better suited for college students to read than Dead Poets Society or um, even Mona Lisa Smart. It's... Happy days. Not that I don't have happy days now. Just... That was before the winds of time changed most of everything. One should not dwell upon the past. Well, I've possibly rambled on uh, long enough. Um, 
I want to give a special hello and shout out to Padre Piper. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Still laughing about that video. <laughs> Uh, rotten luck, but I do have to admit that it is a very nice pipe. To be honest, I don't have an author pipe. And I don't have a brandy pipe, so that might be something that I have to look into. Uh, now that I look at my pipe racks. But I was going to make a recent purchase recently, but I figured that I might save that for a later date. Um, but I hope you all are doing well. Um, I hope the day and days ahead are greeting you well. Um, mm, also, now that I think about it, I have a pipe here. It is a St. Claude Bulldog. <coughs> Excuse me. And the very first tobacco that I ever smoked in this was Sutliff's Private Stock, the Academy. And uh, that's the pipe, this is the pipe that I've always smoked that in. And I went on to Pipes and Cigars and I was looking around for it and they don't have it any longer. And I was quite depressed about that because I wanted to get another tin of that. Um, so I was wondering if anyone out there in the community knows where I could actually get a tin of that, or even if they have a tin and they don't like it, um, if you could send it my way. I usually don't ask for things like that. Uh, I'm not one to beg or... Uh, is beg the right word? Uh, well, beg wouldn't be the right word. I'm not like, oh, but... Uh, I mean, if you do have a tin, of it that you're not smoking, or that, you know, you just don't see a use for, um, please send it my way, because I've been looking, and I cannot seem to find it. Uh, that again, I could not, I could very well not be looking in the correct places in the first place, so, um, but other than that, I hope your pipes and your tobaccos are creating utter contentment and fulfillment onto you. Smoke and be happy and enjoy yourselves, because that is what life is all about.